Stocking your first home bar can be a little overwhelming with all the different choices out there. So in this video, I'm going to give you a little bit of guidance for getting started. Later, I'll be creating some videos that go deeper into each one of these liquor types. But first, it's going to be important to have a liquor store nearby that you trust and serves good quality liquors. To find this, I recommend using a tool like Yelp to find something nearby. The best liquor stores will not only have a great selection, but also knowledgeable employees who can help you find the right bottle at the right price. Okay, so now I'm going to take you through the bottles that I think are going to give you the most versatility when starting your home bar. These brands are the ones I have in my liquor cabinet today, but I'll provide a list of the top three or four most common brands for each liquor type on cocktailchemistrylab.com. A bottle of bourbon should be at the top of your list. Many classic and modern cocktails call for bourbon. Another whiskey I recommend when starting out is rye, and you'll quickly notice that this is a little bit spicier than bourbon. Vodka is another one of your staple liquors. Now it's a bit more of a neutral spirit, so find something reasonably priced. On the other end of the spectrum is gin, which has a wide range of flavors and nuances to it. When starting out, go for a dry gin. You're gonna get the most versatility out of that. Tequila is a classic. I recommend picking up a Blanco tequila to start out and make sure it's 100% agave. Now, rum should also have a place in your first liquor cabinet. Start by picking up a light rum that'll be good for things like mojitos. But some cocktails work better with a dark rum, things like the dark and stormy. Get yourself one of each. I highly recommend picking up some vermouth for your cocktails as well. Things like the martini are going to call for this dry vermouth. And cocktails like the Manhattan require a sweet vermouth like this. Now vermouth is the only thing I'm talking about today that's perishable. It's a fortified wine. So I recommend getting it in smaller bottles if you can find them. And also make sure to keep it in the fridge. And now we get to your bitters. If making cocktails was like cooking, these two bitters would be like your salt and pepper. So here we have your Angostura bitters, which I put in this little bottle. And here are your Peychaud's bitters. Now there are a ton of different types of bitters out there, but you'll get the most mileage out of these two. You should also have at least one aperitif. I highly recommend picking up Campari. It's great for the classics like a Negroni. And we all have that friend who just wants a scotch on the rocks. Good to have one bottle close at hand. Now, there are a lot of types of liquor I left off in this tutorial, but if you have these in your liquor cabinet, you'll be off to a great start. To view this list of liquors, as well as some popular brands in each category, check out cocktailchemistrylab.com. Cheers.